welcome to part one of the quiz of 2022. Um, if you joined us last year, you know we get some card games and we see how well uh, everybody's brains are working. Um, so th this this year we will be playing until we run out of cards. Christmas, a shot in the dark. Okay. Now. Last year we had some some complaints that like music quizzes tended to favour one player over another, and people with lots of intelligence, the stupid people complained that the people with all the intelligence won, you know that sort of thing. So what we had to do was uh, even the playing field, I think is the phrase. So if you've never played a shot in the dark, I'm going to ask you a question with. And an absolutely stupid number as an answer, and you, oh. whoever gets closest gets the point. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, it's all about it's, the guessing. It sounds, it sounds a bit like an examination. It could be that. <laughs> it's like being back at school, isn't it? Ask so questions, give me there's numbers. A, there's a whole pack of cards, oh, and oh. each card has five questions on. Oh, this could go for years. So, well, yeah. I've, I've taken five cards. So okay. tonight's round is 25 questions. Oof, that's mm. 25 Ooh. numbers we'll have to think of. Wow. Yes. Oh, God. Okay, are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. ready. Now, I wish that there was a way of you putting your number onto the screen, <gasps> like flip, and showing it, um, oh, like, a, do... like in Jeopardy or well, something. We could do that. You could do a reaction. A whiteboard. A reaction. On the well, top left, left of the screen. Yeah, I know. But your action a number with it. Well, it's a short. It's, it's not a number, is it? It's a smiley face. <laughs> but it'll be the first one that you see. No, oh, it. Oh, he doesn't mean as a. Um, you're not buzzing in. Oh, you mean a, a buzz. number? Number. There's no Ooh. buzzing. You just give me a number, and I tell you if it's the closest. Okay. Oh. Don't worry. We'll work it out. This is only our it, first go at this. Okay. Okay. Mm. What? what? <laughs> Did I click that? Sorry. I don't know, but does now. this record? Because if it doesn't record... Is that the answer? Yeah. Is that the answer? One. <laughs> no. Oh. oh, crap. I'm going to have to close it now. Okay. Close whiteboard. There we go. There we go. Right. And what I'll do... No, let's, let's just go for it. Each year in the US, how many people go to hospital because they injure themselves putting up Christmas decorations? In the whole of the US. In the whole of the US. You have to write it down. Um, if, if you're going to struggle to remember it when I ask you, then oh, write it down. I'll write it down then. Okay. Yeah. Of course, it's going to be like House of Games. Have you all got a number? Yes. So. Yes. Okay, just waiting for Slowpoke, Beth. That's she has me. to evolve. He has to evolve into whatever Slowpoke evolves into. I I, I worry okay. that that um, that mine is a small one. Don't we all? Don't we all? <laughs> okay. She looks like she's still writing. There aren't that many noughts in it. Damn it. That's a clue. Okay. So almost 2% of people say they've fallen out of the loft while getting the Christmas decorations down. The number I'm looking for is... Actually, you tell me your numbers. No, no, you, you, you should do <laughs> yeah. yours. 150,000 from Canada. Oh. 1.5 million from <laughs> Wales. And I uh -huh. can't read that. Oh, oh, 27,000. Right. Wow, that's all over the board. We are yes, like... and that's why this game's good for everybody, because the actual answer is 14,700, which makes Lee the winner of the first round. Oh, well done, Lee. Wow. One point Hello. to Lee. I thought I was a bit low on my number there. but okay. I thought you were very, very low on that. Yeah, yeah. there you go. Yeah. Um, so what I'd like you also to do is just keep track of your score. You have won. The one. Question two. 
How many presents were held in the world's largest ever Christmas stocking? So this sounds like a, a record breaker. Oh, see. It doesn't say whether this whether it what, was a standard uh, sized present or not. Right? Because like it could be a billion like It was a billion pieces of Lego. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh um uh, the number wasn't a billion, in case you were wondering. That's a oh. clue. That's oh, a clue. Okay. That's for me. I'll scratch that out then. <laughs> okay. Have we all I've... got our number? Yes. yes. Okay. The record-breaking stocking was 32.6 metres long, 15 metres wide. Yeah, you should have said that first. Weighed as much as five reindeer. Yeah. Oh Tamara's God. number five six two three. That's oh Lee's number is three thousand seven hundred and eighty. I've got a bit low. <laughs> oh, best one thousand and fifty six. The actual answer is one thousand, which makes Beth the winner <gasps> of that round. Well done. Do we well get done. extra points if we get a bang on? Did You'll you get, get an extra on? point if you get it bang on. Did you get it bang on? You didn't get it bang on. No, I know I didn't no. get it bang on. I was if asking, you did, no. I, was asking I might try a bit hard if we can get it bang on, you know? <laughs> okay. One point, one point each for the uh, people in Wales. <laughs> on what date does the average Brit... Eat their first mince pie of the year. I can tell you it's not like Beth's and it's not September. Oh, you obviously didn't see my Facebook post where it was actually not in September. It's not August either. Hey, mince pie I mean, I guess, but it's just so random because I don't know. <clears throat> okay, do we all have a date? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Uh, let's start with Lee. Oh, let's start with <laughs> Lee first. 25th of November for Lee. Any advance on 25th of November? 23rd of November. 23rd of November, okay. 4th, 4th of November. 4th of November, well, you're all, none of you are average. Um, uh, Lee is the nearest, did you say 25th? 25th of November. 25th. The actual date is the 2nd of December. Oh, you bunch can of I have the, Can I have the point then? It's not exact. You get one point. Yeah. You get well, one point. The closest. Yeah. yeah. yeah you get a point. You don't Sorry. get extra points. No, I don't want extra points. I just want a point. All right. Okay. Oh, um, you get a 13, point? 13 percent of Brits <laughs> admit to eating them from October. So, Lee, I, I, I'm going to keep scores uh, for I everybody. I bought them from October, but other people ate them. Are you, Lee, keeping score for everybody? Yeah. Uh oh. Yeah. Everybody yeah. check their scores. <laughs> harsh. Very harsh. You do You're like very harsh. Absolutely. On average, what type of Americans spend more... On average, which, which type of Americans spend more on gifts, last-minute shoppers or early bird shoppers? So this mm. is a 50-50, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What was the question again? I was waiting for options then. What, what? No, those were the options. Oh, on average, right. which, which type of Americans spend more on gifts? Comma. Last minute shoppers or early bird shoppers? Because those early birds are expensive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they catch the worms, that's why. You have to take them out to dinner. They want to see a show. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, do we all have an answer to this 50-50 yep. question? Okay, Tamara, you first. Last. No, first, he said. Last. So, the late, late, yeah, okay. Late shoppers? Yes. What's, what's, Lee, Lee's, Lee's, last minute, okay, last minute, both, both going for last minute, oh, good. Oh, early, a early difference early. of opinion. I, On average. I justify it. Well, it's good job you did that because early shoppers tend to spend more. People who do holiday shopping before Thanksgiving spend on average four hundred dollars more than last-minute shoppers. Oh, 
So Could point for that. What they bought. Four hundred dollars more. Four hundred dollars more. Yeah. Mm. So they like, like spent four hundred and one dollars. Wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, the, the last question on this first card. What unusual item did the Queen wear for the 2012 Queen's Speech? A Team GB Olympic Games t-shirt, a Diamond Jubilee baseball cap, 3D glasses, or a waterproof coat? I'll give you those options again while you're, while you're writing and thinking. A Team GB London Olympic Games t-shirt, a Diamond Jubilee baseball cap, 3D glasses, or a waterproof coat. Is there a clue in the, in the question there? 2012? Um, was that an Olympic, Olympic year? It, it was. 2012 was London. It was. 2012 was Olympics. It was also a Diamond Jubilee year. Yeah. Uh, was, it, was it was it raining that year as well? Just just I'm like it, it, it possibly there was some there was yeah. some precipitation. Yes. Yeah. Is is there, is there a chance she might have put some be better clothing on? The answer is 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 connected to to one of these things. I guess. Did she do it from Winter Castle yeah. after the fire when there was no roof and she was just sat in the middle, <laughs> rain mm -hmm. pissing through. Do you all have an answer? Yes. yes. Baseball okay. cap. So Tamara's gone with baseball cap. Lee. I'm sure, I remember the Queen in a baseball cap. I'm, sh I'm sure she had a last minute coat. She had a last minute coat. Okay. <laughs> Beth. 3D glasses. <laughs> I suspect Beth knows this then uh, because she no, did indeed it. have 3D glasses oh, on. Oh, well done, oh, Beth. To celebrate her Diamond Jubilee, the speech was recorded in 3D. So she wore 3D glasses during the message. Mm. Weird. Ooh. I did not know that, but... Ah. Was it... Seemed a weird Random one to go. Gets. Okay, we're on to our second card. In the year after Home Alone 2 was released... How much did it cost to stay in Kevin's suite at the Plaza Hotel for one night in the holiday season? So that's the year after it featured in Home Alone 2. How much did it cost to stay in the same suite that Kevin stayed in at the Plaza Hotel for one night in the holiday season? <coughs> Do we all have a number? Yes. Yeah. Beth, you can go first this time. I go. $5,001. Okay. Uh, Tamara? $2,525. $2,525. Okay. And Lee? $7,000 in dollars. In 7, 000, oh, seven thousand pounds in dollars. Oh, what was the exchange rate then? Yeah, wow, you work it out. <laughs> I don't have to work it out because Tamara was nearest, even though she was a thousand dollars off. Ish, it's one thousand one hundred dollars. Oh, well done, that's Steve. what I was going to write in the first place. So yes, a point so to Tamara. Oh, Ooh, I finally get a point. Point, 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 point. Yeah. All right, we're back to percentages. Just to let you know, I'm keeping score of this, and up to up to now, I'm the only one that scored points. So, yeah, okay. yeah. I'm keeping, I'm keeping okay. score. Don't worry. <laughs> what percentage of Brits do the majority of their Christmas shopping in the week before Christmas? Fifty percent of men. Yeah. <laughs> No, people, Brits, all Brits, an average. I know. Percentage. I know. Numbers. I know. But the, the, oh, oh, oh. No. Do we all have a, a percentage? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, Tamara gives you a percentage. 12%. 12. Oh, okay. 12%. Mm -hmm. 
Lee? 63% in dollars. Sixty-three <laughs> percent. That's quite high. That's quite yeah. high. That one. Very high percentage. Thirty-two yeah, percent. I think that's high. Wow. High, but th those numbers are high. So do you want to? Um, at the other end of the scale, eleven percent of Brits start their Christmas shopping in September or earlier, and eighteen percent claim to have done most of it by the end of October. But the answer I'm looking for is 10%, which makes Tamara the winner of oh, that point. Well, well I'm more impressed with the the uh, British population than I thought. Yeah, I thought I was I was an average, but I'm not. No, you're an outlier. Oh, you're an yeah. outlier. <laughs> Each year, on average, how many turkeys are eaten in the UK at Christmas? Gobble, yeah. gobble. Oh, that's a different question. <laughs> It'll be a lot lower number as well. <laughs> Do we all have a number? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Let's have your numbers, Beth. 1.5 million. 1.5 million. Okay. Oh, Lee? Oh, uh, 20,000. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. You were a little on the small side. That's not, that's not a lot of turkey, that is it, really? Uh, 30, oh, 137,000. Wow. Well, Beth steals this point. Yeah. As soon as Even I Even though it. she's massively under. Because the oh. correct answer is 10 million. Wow. 10 wow. million turkeys. Yep. Oh, is, that, oh, 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 is that Christmas Day or is that Christmas? Oh, oh, oh. It says eaten in the UK at Christmas. Yeah. Really? Well, how many turkey dinners do you have around Christmas? When you think about all the times you go out to have Christmas dinner and stuff like that. I, I, I never get invited that. anywhere, so he's... Aww. You just don't know how to behave, darling. You just don't know how to behave. Yeah, true, but true. Back to and, the and also, I, I don't like turkey. Question so number nine. Oh, that is a problem, yeah. So who got who got that one? That was Beth got that one. Uh, minus one point. Brilliant. Don't you in, worry. I in Britain? Britain? You keep mm -hmm. your own score as yes, well. Oh, you sneaky bitch. <laughs> You don't trust me, do you? Oh, no. Not with that face on. I don't blame you, darling. <laughs> I wouldn't trust me either. <laughs> In Britain, what percentage of the total greeting cards sent throughout the year are Christmas related? Of all the cards in all the world, what's the percentage of Christmas ones? In the world? No, I was, I was just I, all the Christmas cards in the UK. In the UK, yeah, it's just Bogey doesn't say of all the bars in all the UK, does he? Doesn't he? He should. I feel a remake. That'd be not not Casablanca, but Grimsby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, all the cards. I uh, lived in Grimsby. Somebody has to. Yeah, thought I smelled something funny. <laughs> uh, wow. That's, in Canada. Uh, oh. I should know this. I researched this once. It's Did a you? fishing village in Britain. Village? Town? No, I know. Oh, no, I know Grimsby. I know. <laughs> you, did, you did research on Grimsby, best. <laughs> oh, I should I should know that. I should know where Grimsby is. <laughs> uh, wow. Do we all have numbers? Yeah. Oh, shit. Right. Yes, Tamara, yeah. what's your oh. percentage? 27%. Okay. Oh, it's a, oh, it's a per percentage. Yes. Okay. The clues in the, in, the, in the question where I said, in Britain, what percentage? All right. I didn't hear the percentage. Um, in that case, Beth, what's, what's your percentage? 36%. 36 okay. And Lee's gone for 33%. Ooh. It's close. It's oh. close. 
And what did Tamara say again? 27. 27%. <laughs> Who got 36? Me. Yay, you win the point. Oh, well done. 36%. That's actually 45%. Wow. Okay. Well done, Beth. My, my oh, I was going to guess higher, but I just was like, no. Oh, right. You should all get this. Said, then you said the world. Then you said the whole world, and and then and then. Yeah, I shouldn't have said that. Um, um, you should. That you should. My number. You should all get this except tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Each year, which country gives Britain a Christmas tree? Is it a Iraq, known for their woody forests. <laughs> B, Ireland. C, Norway. Or D, Belgium. You know what? I said this this name in my he head, <clears throat> and then you said it. Okay, so, good. Let's see it. Norway. Norway. No way. No way. No way. No, it'll feel like blankety blank. Yes, no way. You've all got oh, it right. No really? That's Point each. Because I had like I don't know why, but Norway just popped into my head. Is it well it's a good job it did? Yeah, no, and then and then you said it, and I was like Norwegian spruce, something like that. Something, something like that. Blue yeah. blue spruce. No, no, not blue. Blue. Good guy, good guy, no way. You might you might all get this one right as well. We're on to card three. This is question one of card three. And we're on question number 11. In the UK, what is the best selling sing Christmas song of all time? Uh. Do we get options? Nope. <laughs> it, 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 <laughs> Come on. It, it, it should be easy enough to get. Oh, it's that one. I mean, soon to be surpassed by uh, Mariah Carey, but... Um... Do we all have a song written down? No. Yes. I can't think of any Christmas songs. Get lost. <laughs> <laughs> um... You have to finish writing before I ask everyone else their answer. Okay. It's obvious. It's obvious. It's like Norwegian pine. It's obvious. Is it? It's not Norwegian pine. No, I'm saying. It's like Norway for the last answer. It's not, it's not what Norwegian it's, pine. It? Everybody knows it. Scrub that out there. Uh, um... You done? Can we, can we have a clue? No. No? Oh, is that the clue? No, there's no, no. clues. No. Okay. <laughs> I can't tell if he's like pretending or real. No, I can't. <laughs> he looks really pissed off though. <laughs> okay. Like, Lee, know. what's your answer? I put um, plaster. Plaster? Plaster. Uh, sorry, Band-Aid. Band-Aid. So do you mean, do they know it's Christmas? Yeah, that's the one. Okay. It just involved a lot of letters. And uh, Beth, what's and your stuff. answer? <laughs> right, I'm fucking Gary. It's okay. Interesting, interesting. And Tamara? Do they know we're assholes? <laughs> okay, I don't know if that's what... I, 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 no, you can't have a point, that's not the real title for that. Well, he, he put Band-Aid. Do put they plaster. know it's Christmas by Band-Aid? That's what I got. Yep. The first it, one. it has sold 4 million copies, making the UK's best-selling uh, best Christmas song and second best-selling song of all time after no. Candle in the Wind by Elton John. Wow. No. Oh, yeah. What? Shame crazy. on you, Britain. Shame on you. Really? I almost put Pam, but until you were like, it's obvious. Candle in the Wind is the best-selling Christmas song of all time. According to this card, yes. Is, that like, is it like a special candle? Is it like a scented Christmas candle? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's... Um, it was a it's Vanilla candle. Moonbeams. You your ah. Like uh, a scented candle. From Yankee Candle. 
Yeah, Yankee Candle in the Wind. Yeah. Smelling yeah. like cinnamon when the rain came in. Okay, we've got a wait one now. Wait. Oh, oh, I haven't got, I haven't got that long. I'm saying wait. wait because it starts with in pounds. Oh, shit. How much weight does the average American gain during December? Oh. Oh. Mm. Oh, interesting. Okay. Okay. Have you finished writing? Yes. Lee? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Tamara, what's your answer? 8.5 pounds. Okay. Beth, what's your answer? 8 pounds. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Lee, what's your answer? <laughs> Three pounds. Three pounds. Okay. <laughs> wow. Um. So just by dint of being lowest, Lee is the winner of that round. Well Although the average American estimates they gain five pounds in December, the actual <sighs> average weight gain is only zero point eight pounds. No. Oh, sorry, I missed the zeros off mine. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yep. I think I think you should give it to Beth then. Yeah. yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't I don't think so. Yeah, two zeros. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I'm not I'm not keeping score now, so I don't I don't know who's won. I've lost the lost the will to live now. So <laughs> Oh well, because you're losing. Yeah. Well, that's one that's one reason. So if you want to look at it like that, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> How much I have a different perspective on things. We're back to um currency pounds now. Mm -hmm. okay. How much does the average Brit spend on Christmas decorations each year? Oh. Um, also, Lee, you're not average. Because I'm willing to bet you don't spend a lot on Any... Christmas decorations each year. I, I spend Anything. a lot on Christmas decorations every year. Do you all have a number? Yeah. We've got a yes from Tamara. Yeah. Yes, from Beth. Yeah. And a yes from Lee. Let's start with Lee this time because it takes him longer to get his paper visible. Okay. £47. Pounds. Okay. <laughs> Tamara. I don't like the way you laugh there. £170. Pounds. Oh, interesting. £170. Pounds. Beth. £200 pounds of 50 pence. <laughs> On Christmas decorations. Do you know how much Christmas well, trees buy the cost tree. nowadays? Yeah, but you, oh. but you buy them once and they... No, no if you get real ones. ones. And not a real one. Not if you get real ones. The answer I'm looking for, and I think your 70 pence just push you out of contention for being a joint winner, is £185, which means oh. Tamara <laughs> is the nearest. What? Damn, well, and it was 50 pence, but it's okay. 40% of Brits say they have two or more average. Christmas trees. Right, right. Well, yeah. One is too much. Math, how much do you spend? I, I don't. Nikki buys them. How much does she spend? We've got we've got blow-up dinosaurs that were like... Um, exactly. And they last for years, don't they? They do. Do you know how much a real Christmas tree costs, though? No, because I don't buy one. one. No. N uh, well, the one we had last time was like 95 pounds well it's a quiz it's not an argument about christmas trees come on we're not arguing i'm just doing right, let's go in the 1930s you should get like a hologram christmas tree yeah no yeah i mean we've got a set of christmas lights that was a hundred pounds you control it with your phone jesus mm -hmm. this is like that's the north it. the north south divide here <laughs> Who knows? It is right, let's go. Let's get the party going. Come on, come on. Next question. In the 1930s, Hitler. Oh, no. <laughs> In the 1930s, Addis Housewares mm -hmm. realized they could use some of their existing product to create artificial Christmas trees. What household product did they use? bit obvious if you think about it is it because it's not obvious to me 
Mm. I'm thinking right out of the box here. Oh, okay. Have we all written something down? Yep. Yes. Okay. Samara, give us your answer. Scrub brushes. Oh, I'm I'm not thinking that the outside the box then. I, I don't think to I Tamara. understand the question. Yeah, you do understand the question, but I'll get some more answers and then I'll tell you if I think you're right or not. Okay. Uh, Lee. Uh, pastry shape stars. You know the little stars that you. Oh, cookie cutters. Cookie cut. That's what I meant. Yeah. It's good, but it's not right. And Beth. Bottle brushes. Bottle brushes. Bottle brushes. Right. Yeah, okay. Yeah. 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 Like okay. Scrub. So. Neither of those are what I've got on the card, but I'm going to let you have a point each. Oh, Whoever's you. keeping score, point each for Beth and Tamara. Because the correct answer is toilet brushes. Oh. They were a toilet brush company. Yeah. Right. Um, well, they were a they, plastic company, weren't they? They just dyed their toilet brushes green. That's awesome. I <laughs> love it. Yeah, but you're going to know about cleaning toilets. I'm not going to know about that, am I? I'm a it's a blank. woman's job. No, oh. I know about Christmas decorations. You're not going to know about that because you spent 47 quid on them. <laughs> and th and that's, that's far too much of a bit. But it's just a toilet brush with a bit of tinsel <laughs> yeah. on. That's, <laughs> your that's only if you've eaten the tinsel. In Sweden. In Sweden. In Sweden. Sweden. Millions of families. Watch what TV show on Christmas Eve? Is it A, Donald Duck, B, Sesame Street, C, the 1988 UEFA Cup Final, or D, the 1974 Eurovision Song Contest? I'll give you those again while you're writing. Is it uh, the Sweden millions of families what which watch which TV show on Christmas Eve? Donald Duck, Sesame Street, 1988 UEFA Cup Final, or the 1974 Eurovision Song Contest? Do you all have answers? Yes. Mm -hmm. Super. Let's start with Beth this time. I've gone for the Cup Final. Cool. Cup Final. Okay. Okay. Tamara. Gone with C. You gone with C. Let me look at that. Uh, the, also, the cup final. Two for the cup final. Okay. And Lee? 1974. The 1974. Um, no, actually, the correct answer. None of you got it right. It was Donald Duck. <laughs> Since 1959, millions of Swedes have watched Donald Duck and his friends wish you a Merry Christmas and each Christmas Eve. That's cute. Oh, it's so cute. I love it. And that was the last uh, card on the third card. Okay. Question 16. By January 2021, what was the record for eating the most Brussels sprouts in 60 seconds? Do we all have an answer? Yes. Okay. Let's start with Lee. 41. Okay. That's the bar. Who's going higher or lower? Tamara. I was say, trick question. Nobody eats Brussels sprouts. <laughs> 47. 47. Yeah. Okay. And Beth? Um, 36. 36. Ooh, we're all around the same vein. All around the same, but Beth came in slightly lower, which means she's the winner because the correct answer is 33. Oh. Wayne Sherlock from Ireland. When Wayne interviewed, Mark. he said, I had some pains in my chest once I finished, but I washed them down with a pint of Foster's. <laughs> To be sure, oh, to be sure. Not even That'll Guinness. Be. Not even Guinness. <laughs> not even that. Guinness. Not a proper Irishman. Um, okay. Okay. Wait. What is Britain's favourite Christmas carol? That's wide open, isn't it? Like, like. So they've asked a load of people, and this is the carol that came in top. Oh. 
bonus point if you can tell me what the second favourite is. Okay. Do you all have something written down? Uh, yep. Not yet. Um, I could tell Tamara didn't okay. she was looking off into space like that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes, okay. I've got my first and my second. Okay. Um, so let's start with Tamara then. Okay, I'm guessing Silent Night. And I'm thinking the number two is Come All Ye Faithful. Um, okay, good answers. Uh, Lee, what, what does that say? Oh, Come All Ye Faithful? <gasps> all right, okay. You didn't pick a number two? No, no. Okay, I've gone for We Wish You a Merry Christmas. Okay. Oh, um, Silent Night, Silent for, night for the oh, second. That's right. Pick, going to that I picked. So, um, I so wrote, Come all you faithful. points oh. wise, nobody got number one. Hmm. Um, Tamara got number two, but in the wrong place. <laughs> and Beth got t uh, number two in the right place. Silent Night is the second favorite uh, carol. Oh, okay. The, a the actual favorite oh, the is Angels to sing. Wow, with, even with all these guesses, none of you are getting right. It's Death Oh, Holy, Holy Night. Oh, oh Holy Night. Night. Yeah. Wow. It goes something like that. Yes. It's more of an American one, I thought. So what are we getting points-wise? Um, I don't think anybody shows anything on that. I should have got a point because I said Silent Night. At least. Beth got yeah. Silent Night in the right place. So one point for Beth Thank and you. half a point for Tamara because she got Silent Night in the wrong place. <laughs> Hold on. I, I, I wrote down Silent Night as well. <laughs> Was that in the white ink that you've... <laughs> okay. Which country has the most reindeer living in the wild? I want to say that, but I also want to say this. Yeah. I, I've got a few I want to say. Uh, which one, which one, which one, which one? Cross I'll have to hurry you. Okay. Okay. Oh, I've not said that this quiz yet. Oh. Um, <laughs> like the power. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> and as you've been cheeky, you can go first. What's your, uh, what's your country? I went Finland. Finland. Oh. Okay. Uh, Lee, what's your country? Oh. I went for another land. Greenland. Greenland. Oh. Did anyone go for Roland? Uh, Tamara? <laughs> I went for Norway. Norway. Yeah. Norway. 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 And I crossed out Canada. Uh, well, it's a good job you crossed it out because it had been wrong. Because the yeah. correct answer is Mother Russia. Mother Russia. Oh, of course. Mother Russia. Massive. Almost more, as more, more commonly known as Greenland. Almost as no. many reindeer live in Russia as the rest of the world combined. Wow. wow. There you go. This is what you call edutainment, isn't it? You're it. learning yeah. something, aren't you? Oh, yes. You love it, don't you, darling? You just love, love it, don't it. you, darling? Love it. Naughty, naughty yeah. girl. What is... <laughs> You're so weird. <laughs> what is the world it. record <laughs> for the most participants in a secret Santa? Ooh. I guess it would have to be an even number. <laughs> You'd hope. Um, well, it is a round number. Well, that, yeah. So you know, 10,000. <laughs> this is wishful thinking on my part. Everybody. Do we all have answers? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, Tamara, give us your number. 10,322. Okay, 10,322. Beth, your number. 7,000. 7,000. Okay. And Lee, white page 22,300. Oh, wow. Oh, I, okay. I really so what was really Tamara's number again? 10,322. 10,000. So... By dint of being the closest, Lee gets a point that round. Oh. Oh. 
The correct answer is 30,000. Whoa, Ooh. I wouldn't want to do oh, admin what? for that. Jeez. In 2012, 30,000 people took part in a secret Santa organised by Reddit. <laughs> Good old Reddit. <laughs> Good old Reddit. Good old Reddit. Oh, and a, a nice 50-50 one here. Okay. True or false? The classic Victorian-era Christmas game, Snapdragon, involved trying to grab chocolate chunks off a mouse trap without getting your fingers trapped. True or false? Ooh, sounds like a great game, though. It does, doesn't it? I think we should Want to play that. with the kids with their yeah. chocolate coins. Yeah. Can't have them unless you rescue them from the trap. All right, so we've all got answers. Lee's yeah. gone with true. Who else? Well, uh, let's go, T. False. False for T. Yeah. Okay. I went with false as well. Right, so both the girls get a point because it is indeed false. The game involves soaking a bowl full of raisins in brandy, mm -hmm. setting them on fire, and taking oh it on God. turns to swallow them whole. <laughs> yeah. That's Snapdragon mm -hmm. for you. I'd, I'd rather that game than the uh, mouse yeah. trap. Yeah, fuck that. Yeah. <laughs> right, we're down to our last card. Five more questions to redeem yourself, and I have no idea who's in the lead. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what was the film Bad Santa called when it was released in the Czech Republic? Ooh. Oh, no options. No options. I, I, I think this feels like, well, it's obviously one that you'd have to guess at because that's the whole point of the game, isn't it? Nobody will know the answer. <laughs> is, it an, is, it an, is it an English translation or is it? We have I'm, to... I'm looking for English words, so they'll have, have taken to... the Czech translation learn... and translated <laughs> it back to English. We're going to have to suddenly learn, like, Czech. You don't yeah, have to speak right. Czech, no, you can give me an English <laughs> answer. Um, Tamara, what's your answer? Dirty old men with gifts. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I like that one. Uh, Naughty Saint Nick. Naughty Saint Nick, okay. Oh, I've gone, I've gone with a naughty. Oh, yeah. Uh, naughty Papa Bag. Naughty <laughs> Papa Bag. Okay. Um, none of them are the right answer. Oh, that surprises me. It, does, it is a surprise. Um, it might have a discretionary point for Tamara because she is kind of nearest. <laughs> um, the actual answer I'm looking for is Santa is a pervert. <laughs> Not wrong. <laughs> it's, 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 it works for me, that one. I, I'm, yeah. I'm, uh, Tamara gets a point for that. Thank you yeah. so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> True or false? In the UK, it is technically illegal to eat a mince pie on Christmas Day. We had got your answers? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Beth, you don't seem to have gone first for a bit. What's your... Uh... True. It's true. Oh, no. no. Uh, uh, Lee, what's your answer? I've gone for... You've gone for false. Well, I, guess I can't read that. False oh. motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Harsh. 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 Tamara's gone for... True. True. Oh, come on. Really? It is, in fact, false. Ah. <laughs> Ah, there are weird laws like that on the books, though. In this, brackets, motherfucker. This mm -hmm. is a common misconception. <laughs> the only Christmas day that mince pie eating was illegal was in 1644, when the day fell on a legally mandated day of fasting. Day of fasting. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew that. Yeah, 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 cool. yeah you knew that. that. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew that too. Yep. Motherfucker. motherfucker. How many items of festive mail? Does the United States Postal Service deliver each year? It's not a small number. 
No, when you think about like how many turkeys y'all eat. What, this this is, is the US Postal, Postal Service. Oh, this is the US so, Postal yeah, Service. Do, do the question again. How many items how many of festive items mail of festive does the United States the Postal Service deliver each year? Oh, it would help if you knew how many people there were in the United States, wouldn't it? Lots. Um, how many items of festive mail? The postal service of the US. That's a lot. Are we? Are we? Are we in millions now? Or are we? Are, is it? Well, that would be telling, wouldn't it? Oh well, come on, give us a clue. No, this is called shot in the dark for a reason. Yeah, shot you're having a dark. shot in the dark. Yeah, but you're to blame. blame. I could put like seven. Why are you not singing that Thank song? That's not the shot in the dark song, is it? Uh, no, it just sounds like it's it just should what be. it sounds like to me. In I, in dark, in isn't it like Iron Maiden or something? Don't know. Oh, oh shit. Well, I got my answer. It's shot through the heart, isn't it? Yeah. 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 That's just before it. we get tweets and shit. Although, does tweets still work? I don't know. It's all right. Uh, I, I'll, I'll mention it in the Discord. Ooh, Tamara, really? what's your number? Hold on, hold on before we do. Just before you do that, yeah. I've got I've got a song in my head with the the lyric in it, the line in it. Shot in the dark. What is it called? Shot in the dark. Yeah, there's there's a song with that with a line in the song. Shot in the dark. Oh God. Does it go like that? Not shot in the dark. No, no. no. <laughs> in the dark. In the dark. <laughs> No. I'm sorry. For this million. Are we still recording? Yes. yes. We are recording. Yes, we're still oh, playing the game. We're, we're like two, yes. three, three. Shots. It may get edited out. Yeah. It might not. Should we all just be really still to make it easier for your editing? Can't find it. Okay. Um... You just Googled the answer, haven't you, you prick? No, I, well, I, I'll, I'll show you. <laughs> I, I'm going to share my screen with you now. All right, okay, I'm going to share my screen. Can I share my screen? Uh, I don't know. Share. Not have Can you see that? Oh, no, not that one. John yeah. Mayer. Oh, yeah, don't... John Mayer. I'm looking for, I was looking for shot in the dark. Where's it gone? Yeah. It's there. Where? Yeah, there you see it. It's just shot another in shot in the dark. You shot in the dark. Yeah, that's what I was trying to Google. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shot in the dark. Uh, just I don't know that one. Oh. So, anyway, Tamara, <laughs> you you had a hundred and eighty million. Yes, sir. Lee, what's your number? One one eight. One one eight. What's your number? I think this is really low. One hundred and sixty-seven million. Yeah. Okay. And Beth. Well, twelve point three billion. billion. That's what? quite a gap, isn't it? Wow. Yeah. I, I like did put two I think two point Beth is billion. probably closer. And is... and she certainly is closer because the correct yeah. answer is fifteen billion. Yeah. yeah. So point for Beth. <laughs> wow. Well done. Well done. Okay, last couple of questions now. What percentage of British adults say that at Christmas time they either have an argument about politics or witness an argument about politics? What percentage of British? I will take Lee's answer first, seeing as he's uh, holding it up. 33% uh, from Lee. <laughs> Beth. 3%. 3% from Beth. 38%. 38%. So. Beth is the nearest, because the correct answer is 10%. Wow. Oh. Men are approximately twice as likely as women to get into a political argument at Christmas. Could oh, be surprised. <laughs> okay, and our final question for tonight's uh, first part of the quiz is, in what year were the first Christmas cards sold? Ooh. This was the first commercially 
mm. bought card. Somebody bought it rather than homemade it. Okay. Which, which was the custom back then. Mm. Do we all have a year? Yep. Okay, Lee? 1894. Okay. I might be a couple uh, of centuries out here. Tamara? 1898. Ooh. Okay. 1832. 1832. You're all very not far off, but Beth is the winner with the correct answer, which is 1843. Wow. Londoner Sir Henry Cole bought the first ever Christmas card. People often sent homemade cards. However, Sir Henry was too busy to make his own. So instead, commissioned a famous painter to design and make cards for him. So everybody I, should write down what their ants, what their points are. <laughs> I was, um, I was very surprised. We were all very close. Okay, that was, so that's, that's scorekeeper, cool. scorekeeper Lee, what yeah. was your score? I, I, oh, do you have to write your own score down? What was your score for everybody? <laughs> I start, I stopped writing when I started oh, losing. Okay. Yeah. You're scoring for yourself though, yeah. What? It'll. I'll. I'll have to add it up in the edit. Yeah. No. Tamara, what do you think you got? Was that nine point five? Five. Nine point five. Well done, Tamara. Beth, what do you think you got? I got thirteen points. Oh, Woo! excellent. Nice. And uh, what? I, just, I'm just, just. My, 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 I got 40. seventy-two. Seventy-two <laughs> points. Wow. Wow. What can I say? I love the way oh, you do it. Oh, I've got two questions, <laughs> Lee. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, we'll we'll put the um what he scored about here somewhere. <laughs> I think I got a couple I of points. Think he should there. be disqualified for not doing yeah. his own score. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we I mean, just need to slap that bitch. I, look I, I, was, I was keeping <laughs> keeping score for everybody, and then I started losing. I thought, right, screw you. You can keep your own scores. Took his you your, your score. You needed to keep your own score, though. I didn't realize that. You didn't make that That's clear. That's fine. We'll, 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 doesn't matter. I'll, I'm yeah. next, next episode, I'm going to get my, my score pad and I'll keep your this bloody is, scores. This is like, this, it's void now. But... No. Oh. No, we're going to start. We're, we're not going to carry over. We're going to pick the winner of this one. And next episode, we'll announce who the winner of this one was. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Probably um, death, yeah. Although She's... everybody that watched the video will know because we'll have to see. <sighs> but it's likely to be Beth. Yeah, it was definitely Beth. Yeah. I don't think it was. It might be. Yeah, no, it was. You're very you're very clever. Thank you. At Thank guessing. You. <laughs> yeah. Guess. Saying that with that that like look on your face, it looks like you're like being so sarcastic. You're very clever. He is being very, sarcastic. Very. He need that no, look she's on his very face. clever. I'm so, I'm so impressed with her intellect. It's unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, I'm so jealous. So anyway, well, well. <laughs> thank you everybody for joining us uh, for the everyone. first of our 2022 <laughs> Christmas quizzes. Um, I'm just going to talk over everybody as we finish <laughs> and say we'll be back next time for part two. Until then, see ya. Bye. 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 I've, I've had a fabulous night, but yeah. this wasn't it. <laughs> <laughs>